Hey guys, it's Poloville here, here to bring you another amazing session of your Haiti news. This week, there was a lot going on in Haiti. President Jovenel went over to the UN, where he represented the country and talked about a lot of key issues that the country's facing, but really made a big statement to the UN, really called them out on the deaths caused by cholera, which were brought over to Haiti by the UN soldiers. So that was a, actually a really big deal for a president to go there and make that statement. But while that was going on in Haiti, the protest started getting a lot more serious. Once again, the people of Haiti have proven they can take things from zero to 1804 real quick. The leader of the opposition is a man by the name of Jean-Charles Moïse. He is not to be confused with Moïse Jovenel, which is the president, or Jessifois. Despite their striking resemblance, turns out they are not the same people. In all seriousness, Jean-Charles Moïse is actually a quite of impressive character. Jean-Charles Moïse between, uh, is more of a statesman when you compare him to Jovenel. He has a great extensive political career when it comes to Haiti and has extensive connections within the Latin American community. Later was actually a uh, political advisor for former president René Prival. Because the interesting thing about it is between Jovenel and um, Jean-Charles Moïse's policy, they're actually quite similar. To be completely honest, I was really stuck because these guys seem so similar. I just couldn't wrap my head around how can uh, this to the topic of tax be the main driving force to tear these guys apart. And then this happened. <laughs> So pretty much, which former Senator Edo Zeni from Jack Mel went on the air and said that this entire conversation about budget and about taxes is all completely staged. The real issue is power and says that there's five major families, five elite families in Haiti who hold the country hostage. He said these guys have the whole entire market for the power industry of Haiti. According to him, these guys are making $22 million a month on electricity alone. And the electricity in Haiti sucks. He goes on to say that Jovenel's new policies are a big threat to their monopoly and they'll do anything to stop it. He goes on to saying that the president's life's at risk and if he doesn't take precautions to protect himself, he will be eliminated. Be eliminated. Life's at risk. Life's at risk. Be eliminated. I just have to live my little life. I'm be quiet. I'm just have to try this something. What? See about what this is next. The unfortunate thing about politics is that it gets really complicated and really messy really quick. Do you guys think this is all about taxes? Or do you guys think that this is actually about energy like the senator said? And the third question is this, what is the Jaspoa's role in this entire conversation? In 2012, it was reported that $1.9 billion was sent to Haiti, not by foreign aid, not by the United States, but by the Jaspoa's themselves. This is almost as much as the entire national budget for this year. Maybe we're more influential than we think. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like, share, tag, and let's talk about it. You better not waste my time. Oh, that's too close. That was kind of weird.